Alpha thalassemia major is an inherited disorder that causes problems with an important protein in the red blood cell called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the protein in our red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body. In fetuses with alpha thalassemia major, the red blood cells are missing normal hemoglobin and the body does not get enough oxygen to grow. This can lead to serious problems for the fetus, such as injury to the brain and heart failure. Because alpha thalassemia major is a severe disease, it is unlikely that a fetus will survive until birth without therapy. Decision making during a pregnancy is very personal and different for every family. As alpha thalassemia major is a very severe disease, many mothers make the difficult decision to end the pregnancy or have an abortion. For families who choose to continue the pregnancy without treatment, the fetus will likely get very sick and usually would not survive. This option can also result in health problems in the mother. These pregnancies should be followed closely for health changes in both the mother and the fetus. For families seeking treatment, blood transfusions to the fetus or in utero transfusions can supply the fetus working red blood cells. These transfusions are given into the umbilical cord and need to be repeated several times during the pregnancy. This same treatment is used often for other conditions that cause fetal anemia. Giving red blood cells to the fetus can reverse signs of fetal stress, such as fluid collections seen on ultrasound. This treatment can reduce the risk of problems in the pregnancy and can improve long-term outcomes, including the risk for brain injury. It is important to know that your child will have long-term medical needs after he or she is born and will require either lifelong blood transfusions or some patients may be eligible for a stem cell transplant. Each of these options has pluses and minuses that your doctor can discuss with you. Lifelong transfusions can lead to iron buildup that can cause damage to various organs of the body. There are medicines to help with this problem. Another option for treatment after birth is a stem cell transplant from a healthy donor. Some children can be cured with a stem cell transplant, but this treatment can be risky because of the medicines doctors have to give to prepare the body for the donor's cells to make sure that they are not rejected. In many cases, it may be difficult to find a suitable donor for the stem cells. These are problems faced by many patients living with similar blood diseases. An experimental option for fetal therapy is to do the stem cell transplantation before birth. After many years of research, the doctors at the University of California, San Francisco, or UCSF, have developed a new approach to treating fetuses with alpha thalassemia major by doing a stem cell transplant before birth. A fetal or in utero stem cell transplant, in addition to fetal blood transfusions, is a promising new treatment option that is currently being studied and has the potential to cure the disease before birth. This approach is based on research that shows that during pregnancy, the mother and fetus tolerate each other's cells. The researchers determined that stem cells can be prepared from the mother's bone marrow and given to the fetus. Using stem cells from the mother takes away the need to give harmful medicines to prevent stem cell rejection. If this treatment is successful, the mother's cells become engrafted or become a part of the fetus's own bone marrow where the blood is produced. This allows the fetus to make its own working red blood cells. Even if the transplantation is only partially successful, the research team will be studying if a booster stem cell transplant from the mother can be considered after delivery. This type of transplant would be using a less toxic medical plan than if the baby had never seen the mother cells before. In this clinical trial, we are studying the safety of this therapy for the mother and her fetus. The fetus will receive a stem cell transplant from the mother between 18 and 25 weeks of gestation. The doctors will take bone marrow from the mother's hip bones. In this bone marrow are the stem cells that are then prepared for safe injection and given to the fetus at the same time as a blood transfusion. The fetus will still need additional blood transfusions every few weeks until birth. After the baby is born, 
we will collect a few blood samples from the newborn to evaluate how well the stem cell transplant worked. These samples will allow us to see how well the mother stem cell survived and became a part of the baby's bone marrow. These babies will be followed up for one year after birth to see if the transplantation is safe and effective. Depending on the success of the treatment, some newborns may need fewer transfusions if their mother cells make healthy red blood cells. Even if the in utero stem cell transplantation does not cure the disease, it may make future stem cell transplantations more safe and successful. If the in utero stem cell transplantation does not work, repeated blood transfusions will need to be performed. This would be the same care the baby would need if they did not receive the stem cell transplantation in the pregnancy. While we believe that in utero stem cell transplantation can be performed safely, the potential risks to the fetus include causing the fetus to become sick after the in utero transplantation, the chance the fetus does not survive the treatment, or that the baby is born prematurely. Potential risks to the mother include requiring a blood transfusion after donating her bone marrow and infection. Alpha thalassemia is a serious disease. We hope that this clinical trial will bring us one step closer to finding a definitive cure and giving these babies, and someday babies with similar conditions, a new chance of life. Thank you for your attention. If you have any further questions about this study, or the current available treatments for alpha thalassemia in pregnancy, please contact us at fetus.ucsf.edu or 1-800-RX-FETUS.